Oh, 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 you got the shame. It's your boy Mac Mean. True story, but all stories ain't true. This one is. Got it. You know what I'm saying? This is the, the after prison joint. You know what I mean? The response. You know what I mean? Yes, I'm doing the fucking response. You know what I'm saying? Like, some of the, some of the people, I'm not, 90% of the people out here, I'm going to say 95. I love y'all. All, all y'all, yeah, like the responses, yo man, it, it make it make you feel like it's like when they when they say you humbled by something, I'm really humbled because I I came to this with no agenda, and then it be like that five percent, you know what I mean? I got something like a dude asked me, do do I know bank? Do I know these dudes? No, I don't know them. Do I sound like I say you? I say you. I'm from New York. Banky from like D.C. or Baltimore or something. They talk like that. You. Do you, you don't listen to yo? Another cat gonna ask me, oh, you're, you must be sweet on these dudes. You doing the video? So what? If Joe tell me stop doing the videos, I respect him and say, you know what? I might not. I, I I won't do this video. I won't title your shit and my shit. You understand what I'm saying? That's respect. You feel me? And big shout outs to you, Joe. I, I, I heard your shout out, you know what I'm saying, on, on the Twitch. They pointed it out to me, you know what I'm saying? And and, and, I, and I'm and i glad you've been so proactive with these dudes. I'm talking to Joe. Joe, you're doing a service for people. If you don't want me to do these videos, you can say something, and I won't even do these videos. And nobody can take it as any other way besides me respecting, you know what I'm saying? You know, not saying, I'm not, I'll talk about whatever the fuck I want to talk about, about anything else. You know what I mean? I did 11 years in jail. I really stabbed motherfuckers up and did all that negative shit. I'm not, well, I don't want to be on that. You strike me as somebody that's doing something, just like my boy Mel Cross. When Mel Cross first came home, I reached out to him and told him, yo, anything you need on the marketing, I'll help you. I don't know about YouTube like that. I'm not no YouTube genius. You know what I'm saying? Warpath was doing his videos. I was used to be looking at his channel, him and, him and, him and Fred from Tales with Penn. And I've been on both of those shows. I interviewed, they interviewed me on those shows. You know what I mean? Y'all go look at them joints. You feel me? I had no agenda. Dudes been asking me to do talk about jail for years. I've been staying away from it. I own a couple businesses, man. I be online trying to market my businesses and, and, and shit like that and real, worry about real things in life, you know, to be understanding the YouTube. I know market. I know computers. And just be um clear with um Joe, you know what I mean? I ain't just come home. I've been home since 2002, you know what I mean? Like, I seen the channels. I seen what was going on. But you know you sit in the side and you, you know, you don't, you don't give your input. When I start seeing my personal people coming home after 20 years and stuff like that, trying to do it, you know what I mean? In New York, I try to put my hand out and help. Yo, whatever I could do, I got your back. You know what I'm saying? I didn't have no agenda, and I still don't got no agenda. If you got something negative to say, this ain't the place for you, man. You know what I mean? If you ain't do a decade plus before you was 28 years old, this ain't the place for you. You know what I'm saying? Like this is this is the place for for men, grown people, women that's that, that's trying to change. This is the this is the, this the my shit is not for none of that. You feel me? Because if it was, I would be on that, man. You know what I mean? Offers I had to fucking come on somebody's show and talk about garbage for real. You know what I'm saying? So when you get on this shit and you and you start talking, understand you're never gonna get a ratchet reaction out of me. Not no more. You know what I'm saying? Maybe, I don't know. Maybe maybe a couple of videos back, but not no more. Because the my bottom line, my bottom line is always in the front of my mind. You understand what I'm saying? Period, point, blank. You feel me? And because I know that if you got something negative to say about me, that's a reflection of your own self. That don't got nothing to do with me, brother. Brother! You wanna ask me if I'm sweet on Joey? And then these cats, yes, I'm sweet on anybody that, that came from what I came from, bro. The dungeon. And got some principles about them. Some stand-up shit. I mean, certain things you could just see in people, man. Certain things you could just see in people. And you know what I mean? Like, like when my people start coming home and certain dudes that I know that, that's doing this, that I know personally that's doing it, they on some negative shit. And I can't fuck with them. Period. Not to say they bust my daughter. I'm in a whole different... I'm in Ohio and Cincinnati. I've been out here for about four years. You know what I'm saying? Doing other things. A lot of stuff that had nothing to do with this. So when I did the interview, I felt like, you know what? Um, um, they kept on asking me to do start a channel. You know what I mean? And, and and I just ain't started. I ain't started. So one day I just decided to start it, which was like a month ago. Now I had this channel since 2012. 
but I never put nothing up on it. One of the two videos that is up there, that's before this like month that passed, that's from back in 2012. Those two videos from 2012, I had nothing to do with that. I didn't even control the page at that time. So I'm saying all this to say, man, stay focused, man. You know what I mean? You could do anything else besides type on the, and it's the repeat offenders like the same dudes. You start paying attention, like, oh, it's the same guy. Speak the same way and all that. Okay, got you. Two, two plus two is one, okay? Anyway, am I sweet on some you I slap the you know what I mean? Yes, I'm yeah, I'm sweet. I'm sweet on positivity. You wanna know why? Because I've been negative all my life, bro. And for y'all don't that, that don't know me, that been asking me, you know what I'm saying, about myself, you know, first of all, the people that, that do show up, yo, I love y'all to death, man. Y'all don't even understand. You know, I, I take my time out to try. And you probably, if you look at the comments and stuff, I'd be responding to all that stuff. You know what I'm saying? And the ignorant stuff, I even respond to that. And I try to say something positive because I come from a real negative world. That I'm saying, so when it come down to cat like Banky, you know what I'm saying? Like that's that world I come from. I could I could sit, I could feel it, I could put my money on it. You know what I'm saying? On who's who and what's what. And at the end of the day, let me tell you something. Anybody could be traced back. Any inmate, enemy prisoner, any convict that did time, we could find out about you. Easy. You know what I'm saying? We all know that. We don't come out here, you know what I mean? Like, I don't think, what you see is what you get. When you see Danny acting like a fiend, that's because he's a fiend. Joe was probably a little bit naive, you know what I'm saying? And just trying to be, you know, I've been there. I've been there, wanting so bad, got things going on, and you just see something, you like, you know what, this is a project, this is this is what I'm looking for, that he needs help, he needs help, and if he could get the fuck out of his own way, he'd be alright, y'all gotta get out your own way, man, straight up, I don't get nothing for no fucking YouTube, man, it wasn't until I did this fucking video on, on the After Prison Show, if Joe told me don't do it, I wouldn't even fucking do the fucking video no more, period, real talk, because I like what he got going on that much, Am I going to stop talking? Probably not. Am I going to be talking about jail and shit like that? That's really not my thing, man. It's really not my thing. For real, for real. I don't even want to be thinking about that shit, man. Like that. Unless it's the fun stuff. Like when I went to college. Like when I went to food service and came home and started working for Bobby Valentine, the ex-man, the old manager of the Mets. You know what I'm saying? Shit like that. Or the relationships I built. Me and my boy CD. Right now, he's a movie director. I've worked in countless movie productions. You know what I'm saying? I've, I, I've done a lot. I've, won, I've, I've done a lot, right? And I've always kept my eye on the prison shows. And I like I like a lot of cats. Some of them I can't stand. <laughs> oh, word, right there. All right, it's on. Some of them I can't stand. I don't like their message. You know what I mean? And I don't aspire to be like that. So when a nigga like Danny fuck up, that reminds me. That reminds me. Oh, I'm a Gemini. The positive shit that y'all think y'all seeing, you know what I'm saying? It could always be some some negative shit with me too. I just feel like this is a pure platform for me to speak and not have to worry about what somebody thinking about me. Anyway. Woo. Some people just negative, man. Most softest dudes negative, man. Not like my boy Banky though. You know what I'm saying? He quiet strong. Banky look like he slap mad niggas. Real talk. So yeah. I think Joe was a little naive, but had all the right intent to help somebody. That's why he land on his feet. That's what God do with you, man. When you do right thing, you need to land on your feet. And when Banky was negative, you know what I'm saying? Before he made his transition, he was just like me. Selfish. And y'all niggas is selfish. You wanna know why? Because the only thing you thinking about is satisfying yourself. Even with like a like a like a negative, a dumbass comment that you that you formulate, you know what I mean? And some of y'all are so illiterate, don't understand the magic in books. The books save me. Right? It's a reflection of you, your pain, whatever you're going through, how you view yourself, all right? So when you're negative, only thing it means is that you're selfish, bro. When you're negative, 
You don't think about how. And then, you know what? I, I, I swear I had a moment the other day where I was like, you know what? I shouldn't even, I should just cut that. I'm, I'm one of those people, man. I, people see me reach a certain height or something and I'll just let it go because I have so many other things that I really want to do. Like going down there and fishing. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I said that maybe I was having like a struggle with my own self because I was like, damn. I'm trying to be positive, but yet everybody's talking negative about this cat, including me. I want to box you, Danny. I really dead ass want to box you, just like Boy Pat. Boy Pat was talking about that. I, I want to, I want to, you know what I mean? Because you, you, anyway, you remind me of all them dudes, that, the, the couple of dudes, the three or four dudes that's coming, the same language and all that. I hope that's not true, man. I hope your life ain't that miserable when well, that's what you're doing, man. Cause that's corny, man. Nobody wanna see you down, bro. Nobody wanna see that man down. I wanna see these dudes come up, yo. It's easy to go down, bro. This shit designed against you. You think it's easy for niggas to get a job? Even if if, 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 if I, I decide whatever I do, you know what I'm saying? Um, in life, I come to this and I talk and I say whatever I say. Wouldn't you be happy? Wouldn't I mean wouldn't you? Wouldn't you be happy that a motherfucker that can't get a job, not not me, I, 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 <laughs> the average enemy can't get a job, man. We come home, life has changed. It's hard to put, it's hard to get them two feet going. That's all, you know what I'm saying? And then you got somebody just just glowing, giving all the fucking all that. You know what I mean? Like it be it. I learned that. I learned yeah. Word up. I learned that with Rondo. The the quietest, the quiet, the, well, Rondo was loud as fuck. Ace, I learned that with Ace. Because Rondo used to get high and used to get real loud, like a fucking gorilla. Yo, you better clean up. Yeah, that type of shit. But, <clears throat> what I did notice is that the killers are the coolest motherfuckers in the world. I know Bang, you slapping the shot of motherfuckers. We'll talk now. And after 30 years, you're not no crook no more, y'all. You're not no crook. Whatever he did, what he, what he did, what he did, what he did, what he did, what he did it. You know what I'm saying? It's a shot at life right now. It's a new life. So, yeah, I ain't just come home. I've been home since 2002, bro. I've been all around this, this shit, moving and shaking. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, the Joe and Joe um, and Banky. Joe did a good job of, of doing the question and answer because I think that you, you just give him so many people. I think that should be a part of your shit, whatever you do, you know what I mean? Do a question and answer. And let people ask the questions that they're gonna ask and you formulate some questions too. You know what I'm saying? Things that'll resonate with people, whatever. I just like what y'all got going on, you know what I'm saying? So, I gravitate, I gravitate towards the underdog, you know what I mean? And I always been a bully. Oh, I hate bully. Oh man, I hate them. You know what I'm saying? So I appreciate that that format, Joe, man. And I think um it's good looking at other prisoners, you know what I'm saying? Or ex prisoners, excuse me, reactions in they in they state. Like like they they like things that, that we got going on and what they got going on. You know what I'm saying? How how similar this shit is. You know what I'm saying? Even the way the way they explain what's going on or whatever, I think that I got some notes right here. So lately, I'll, do, I'll be doing stuff with these videos, and I'll be like, later on, my fucking saying something. I'm not no YouTube you know what I mean? So I got here when he was talking about this is something I want to say. He said that um, he was based. Okay, this is what he was talking. About. He was he was like thanking the people for having a voice and. Even though it's such a like, it's like a, it's like a, a, a real simple statement, you know. But the magnitude of what he's saying, of not having a voice, of uh, CEO, or you know his name, Yo Johnson. I know you hear me. I need some tissue or crack the cell. You know it's my shot. I'm in being in Attica. <coughs> no, what this was Wendy. And Wendy, you will only be able to get a shower like three or four days a week, and then the other days you have to get a. A bucket, you got a bucket in yourself, and dude come through 
with this big, it's like a teapot, plastic teapot, big. If he was looking at it from far, he probably think it was like an ant eater. It's so big, you know what I mean? Pause. <laughs> and they pour the shit inside your cell, you know what I mean? So, you know, if they don't crack the, you know what I mean, house gang or whatever, but the porter for, you know what I mean? Like for, for to let them let, let the port out so he can give you all your hot water, you gonna be taking the cold bath. Especially on Friday, June, oh no. Right, so I understand that. You call them, they don't come. You know what I'm saying? You waiting on some mail or something, they don't come. But my thing is um, the voiceless part resonate with me, like being on, you waiting for a visit, or you trying to make a phone call, nobody's answering, nobody's writing you. It's almost like, you know, you have those times, like he, he said something about dudes, sell, be all messed up, he, going, he doing life and shit like that. You, you have times that's like that, man. You know, I think that every two, three years, you change who you are in jail. You know what I'm saying? You just go through changes. You know what I'm saying? Especially if you did box time. So, it's just interesting seeing different people's um, shit. You know what I'm saying? And his statement on that positivity, you know, of, 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 of his logic on it. You know what I'm saying? When you care about other people, man, that's when everything changes. That's when the, that negative turns into positive. That's when... That's that transition y'all think y'all talking about out here. The transition is when you become selfless instead of selfish. I swear I'm not lying to y'all. When you start caring about everybody else and you don't you put less less importance on you, it's because you already made yourself number one. Your star player is rocking. You know what I mean? Like you when your star player is rocking and you complete. You know what I'm saying? When you complete, like, it's like. When there ain't no love, you gotta, you know, you gotta focus on yourself. You gotta, you gotta become, in the beginning, you have to become more than, more important than even your kids. Cause you can't be used, you're useless. If you're not the best version of yourself, your kids have nothing forward to look for. Nothing to look forward to. You know what I'm saying? They don't. You gotta love yourself more than you even love your kids. Once you get, once you gain that love for your own self, you go out there and apply yourself. You get more of an understanding of what life is really about, and then you cut that that part off. It's like, okay, I know how to do this. <clears throat> now I gotta make sure people are good, you know. And that's when you know that's I guess that's the transition to positivity when you stop being selfish. Simple. Once you're not selfish no more, you're positive. Because selfish shit is negative. Why wow, me? You know? I'm pretty tired, man. I've been up all day, man. I just want to do a quick reaction video, man. I, ain't, I hate to be so boring today, man. You know? And, um, hey, bang, that, like, re-entry thing, you know what I'm saying? Like, I know that. In, in New York, we call that shit a uh, work release. <laughs> Word up, you can see some dude, man. You, five years ago, man, I would have test my, 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 my knife out on you, bro. And now you about to go home, and he still, he got that time he got to put in, and now he poking his chest out, you know what I'm saying? The COs, you know what I mean? They, they, yeah, they did, they, they, yeah, it's real. But I think a lot, I think we magnify in our mind too, because you know, that count time, I was in Queensboro, you know what I'm saying? In Queensboro in New York. It was like a lot of cats that was coming home and doing one to threes and two to sixes. They was making all that fucking noise. And they, like, they didn't mind. Like, you know, I'll go back up north and do another two. Fuck that. You know what I'm saying? They was like that. It was just real, real, real live for nothing. And that's the time when it, when it happens. You know what I mean? So, it's time to hit them bricks. Everybody start playing games. You feel me? Punk motherfucker. You know? So, you condition yourself to get free. You know? The warriors, they're going to strategize. You know what I'm saying? Drawing on these boots, man. I got a, got a whole bunch of art supplies right here. You know what I'm saying? So, let me get back to this. I just wanted to get my little my little two cents on the on the um visit. I mean <laughs> I'd be salty when the visit ain't come see me, man. That's that's the that's the voice that was lost for me, man. I'll be doing the push up. Uh, honey, push up. Look in the mirror. 
brush your teeth all <laughs> Wait for that visit, you know what I'm saying? Spraying all, no, taking that Muslim oil. Ah, ah, wow, that. Nine o'clock go past, 10 o'clock go past, 11. Dudes that you never seen get a visit before be pulling up. And everybody know that you think you about to get a visit. Oh, baby, that visit don't come. Now that's when you lose that voice. Cause you can't just run down. You know, prison is one of the weird things, man. People think they they pay them just cause they went to prison. You know what I'm saying? They think they 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 think that they you know I I got patient. I'm patient because I did this time. No, you was forced to do that time, sir. Patience is optional. You know what I'm saying? It's optional. Not everybody's patient, man. They lose patience. They you know just catch me out there hitting that thorazine, running around with them. You know what I'm talking about? Y'all got a funny word that y'all use for it on, on, on the um, after prison show. <laughs> That's a funny ass name too, man. I'm sorry. You know what I'm saying? So our reentry programs, we have a reentry jail, which is like Queensboro and shit like that. But then you have a reentry program, which is called free release. And they kind of like prepare you to go home. You know, they tell you, you know, things that you're going to need. They, they help expedite those things. And I think that shows like um um like um I don't I don't wanna shout them other cats out. You know what I'm saying? But um the after prison show definitely and shows that's like that, you know what I mean? Which I, I don't know if it's shows that's like that, but like that's actually getting prisoners and helping them out and shit like that. I don't know. Cause that's the service. Most most nine out of ten um um cats that was in jail ain't touching it, man. Especially if you productive in any kind of way, you know what type of you know what I'm saying? Mentalities, you know what I mean, that come up out of out of the joint. Let's be 100. You get the you get the wickedest and the best people. You get the angel. You get angels in jail. Some some dudes I left in jail, like you know, angels, and we just living all we just living this life. And the best thing you could offer is to get on somebody's comment and just say something. You know what I'm saying? That has nothing to do with nothing. Just waste air. I have the nerve to put LOL to end, man. Are you kidding me, man? Get your thumb out your butt, bro. Or right, man. You know what I'm saying? So big shout out to y'all. Big dog. I'm, I'm good looking for shout me out, Joe. Good looking for shout me out, Banky. I appreciate you, brothers. Love what y'all about to do. It's a good look. I'm super tired. You know what I'm saying? Oh, last thing I gotta say. We I know about I know about mice and rats and all, cause in Attica. And HCM, a couple, a lot of couple, a, a lot of jails I've been to had mice. We had that problem. You know what I'm saying? And these mice ain't scared of no inmates. You know what I mean? Like they ain't not scared. Only, only thing the mice feared was the police. Police come down the block. And... Probably thought the big rat was gonna eat him. Anyway, that dude ate that mouse. I'd have called him Splinter for the rest of his bed. That's on mommy. True story. All stories ain't true though.